сучасна українська головне. How do you sit across the table to try to stop the war? Welcome to Newsday, reporting live from Singapore. I'm Monica Miller. The headlines. Ukraine's president says his troops will continue to defend the eastern city of Bakhmut as the mercenaries fighting for Russia there complain they don't have enough ammunition. One month after the devastating earthquakes that killed more than 50,000 people in Turkey and Syria, many are still living without proper shelter. The legacy of Japanese boy band mogul Johnny Kitagawa is examined in a new BBC documentary, including multiple allegations of sexual abuse from boys and men who once worked with him. Welcome to a place that is astonishing. The wonders of the natural world. For the first time ever, Sir David Attenborough looks at Britain's wildlife. Live from our studio in Singapore. This is BBC News. It's Newsday. UK's President Vladimir Zelensky says that the country's military commanders want to continue to defend the embattled eastern city of Bakhmut. It follows reports from a U.S.-based think tank suggesting Ukraine was probably withdrawing some of its forces from the city. Russia is continuing its all-out assault to capture the eastern Ukrainian city. Well, the city's deputy mayor has told the BBC that not a single building had remained untouched and that the city is almost destroyed. Here's our diplomatic correspondent, James Landell.